All right, so on my iPad, I have iMovie. And I already, we're gonna say that in my photos, I already have my footage, okay? So let's say I have some shots already recorded, all right? Say I have, say I'm doing soccer, all right? So I'm gonna go into iMovie. I'm going to create a movie. Everyone with me so far? And I'm going to select the shots that relate to my film. And then I'm going to hit select or create movie. Okay. Sarai, do you have a question? Sorry, I forgot to raise my hand. I forgot to put my hand down. Okay. All right. So see how I have my shots? Put it into my film. Okay. And this is just a very rough cut. All right. You're going to have more shots. Remember, you have to have a minimum of 11. And you have to have certain shots, right? Yes, Ms. Lambert? Yes. Oh, hi! At least one kid's paying attention. Okay. All right. But I can take my handy dandy finger, okay? And if I hold it down on the clip, see how all of a sudden it moves up? And now I can rearrange my clips. And when I let go, it goes in that position, okay? Wherever my white line, that tracking line is, that's what I'm seeing up at top, all right? You with me? Everyone with me? Yes. Anyone have questions so far? Anyone like what in the world is crazy Miss Lambert's doing? Okay. All right. If you want to add more images, there's a plus sign up in the top right hand corner. Hit the plus sign. And you can go in and add video, photos, backgrounds, whatever you need from your iPad. Okay. You can also go in and add audio. So this is where I can go in and add a song. I can go to soundtracks. And I'm going to go in. And add a song. I have it muted right now though, so I want echo. Okay, and it will add that song. To my film. Did All right. Just show, wait, I just I got back, back, so. I'm recording it, Gerard, so it will go on its learning, okay? Okay. All right, the little boxes with the arrows facing each other, those are your transitions. If you click it, it will ask you how long you want to transition and what kind of transition. So you'll see right now, it see how it fades from one shot to the other? If I go back and click on that transition, I can choose whether to slide, white, fade, or no transition. 
whatever transition you choose, you need to use that transition all the way through your film for continuity, okay? Okay. For the process of kind of lost, but you need to use that same transition all the way. You can even turn on sound effects for your transition. Mm. Let's see if I can get to pick up the sound effects on my mic. Let's see. I don't think you can hear that. But it has like a whoosh sound, okay? All right. The other buttons on here, if you go to the question mark, it will explain to you the little question mark or the circle. If you click it, it's going to give you or tell you what all the little buttons on there will do. Okay, so it's like a text sheet for us. If you click the thing that looks like a peace sign with a gear around it, that will let you set a filter, set a theme. Don't use a theme. You don't need a theme for this. You are the editor. You don't need a theme. Okay, if you want to fade in or fade out. Okay. If you want to do audio narration, sometimes you do a project in your other classes where you have to narrate, like do a voiceover. The microphone is what you would use. And you would just click the mic and hit record and then your voice recording would be there. We don't need it for this, but just to show you that you can do that. The little squigglies up and down, that represent sound waves. And that will show you your audio. You can change the volume level of your audio. You can fade your audio. Or you can delete your audio. All right. Any um, questions so far? I do. I do. All right, Gerard. Did you explain when you um when you like add um a shot you could just add another one? Yeah, so you go to the plus sign plus. up at the top. You go to media and it should already be on your in your photos and so you just go and find it in your photos. And then you hit plus. Okay. No. When I do that, um, uh, okay, okay. Hmm. So far, so good. Okay. The yeah, plus sign. And then I, okay. All right. You I didn't know how to do that, but now I do. Now you do. And then if you need to move your shot, you take your handy dandy pointer finger and you place it on the screen and see how it jumps up and then you can drag it to a different position. Okay. Yes, you with me still? Yeah. Okay. Charlie? I have a question, but it's not about the iMovie. Um, okay. When you went over, like, all the shots, I was, like, filming, and I didn't know you were going over them. What is a medium close-up? Oh. 
There's a video on its learning. It tells you everything. Thanks, Charlie. Look at your Google Slides as well. That, Charlie. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at your Google Slides. There should be a picture of that in your Google Slides of shots and angles. Okay. Yeah. Also, okay, um, because yeah, the picture is going to be better than me trying to put my face up to the screen to show you. What I just sound, what I just said to Charlie sounded a bit rude. Thank you for fixing that, Gerard. All right. So now we're about let's talk about editing our shot. Okay. So if you again take your pointer finger and place it on the shot, see how and just tap the shot. See how now I have the yellow square that goes around it. I'll be back. Again, again. Okay. Now I can. I'm gonna turn the audio option off. So just I now I can just edit my shot. Now you see that I have several options down at the bottom of my screen. I have actions where I can attach the audio or duplicate my shot. Say I want to have two of the same shots, not just one, so I can duplicate it. I can change the speed of the shot so I can make it go slower or faster. I can change the volume if there's volume embedded in that shot. I can change the filter so I can make the shot look different. Okay. And if I go back to actions, I can take my pointer finger. And I can carefully up. drag to cut or it's not wanting to work with me right now. But I can expand or shorten my my clip, okay? Typically it'll work. It's just being finicky today. All right. Now, while I am in this shot, if I go up to the top. If I hit play, you will see how I have. You let Olivia back in. See how you have a little magnifying. I don't know if you can see that on your screen. There's a little magnifying glass up in the top right corner of the big screen of the shot okay if you click that it'll say pinch to zoom there you go and i can take my two fingers and i can pinch to zoom in on the shot so now i have cropped that shot within the frame does that make sense As well, when I am ready to, I can go in, click on my clip, take my finger, and hit titles. And now I can add words to my shot. or clip is what it's called in iMovie. And so, I love soccer, done. And I can change what it looks like. I 
I can move it around. I can choose the font. I can choose the color. I got a three gun. Good. I can say it's going to have a shadow or a style or whatever it is. I love soccer. I okay. too. You can add text. All right. And then there's my text. Any questions about that so far? You can add a sound effect to it, make it uppercase. Okay. Once you are done with everything for your film, and it is absolutely perfect, you hit done. You go to the, you want to catch up on the screen. You go to the square with the little arrow. First off, make sure you give it a title. So soccer or whatever, okay? Okay, you go to the little square with the up arrow. Okay. You hit save video, which is a square with the down arrow. It will say exporting movie. Copy movie to photo library. So now it is on your iPad. Okay. Once it is on your iPad, go to Google Drive. Go Mr. to Numbers. Yes. I have a question. Okay, well, Gerard, we are technically out of time for class. Let me finish saying this real quick, okay? And then I'll get your question, I promise. Go to the plus sign. Go to upload. Go to photos and videos. You may have to allow access to all of your photos. Go to recent or wherever you are. Find your movie. Click it and click upload. And it will take a minute for it to upload and process and all of that. But now it is saved two different places on your iPad and in Google Drive. Once it is there, You will see it in your Google Drive, and then you can go back to its learning and share the link for it and everything, okay? So remember, you can click the three dots, turn on link sharing, and copy the link. Cool beans? Yes. All right. Oh, Gerard, what's your question? 